What's up guys, Nathan here. Today I'm gonna to give you the seven poker tips that literally changed my life. This is what originally allowed me to quit my job, play this game professionally, travel the world, and so on. I'm gonna break it all down for you today in today's video. For those of you guys who are struggling at the smaller stakes in particular, I made this video for you. This is one of the most important videos I have ever made. Let's jump into it, counting down from seven to one. Here we go. All right, poker tip number seven that literally changed my life, guys. This is more important than anything. Stop playing trashy hands. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what hands to play right now, just so you know. Only play these hands if you are new to the game in particular. That would be premium pocket pairs like pocket aces, pocket kings, pocket queens, pocket jacks. Good Broadway cards like king, queen, king, jack, and queen, jack. Mid pocket pairs like pocket tens, pocket nines, pocket eights, pocket sevens. A bunch of suited connectors. And when I say a suited connector, I'm talking about something like a 10, nine of hearts. Both cards are the same suit. So Jack 10 suited, 10 9 suited, 9 8 suited. You also want to play a bunch of baby pocket pairs. So that's going to be pocket sixes, pocket fives, pocket fours, pocket threes, pocket twos. And I didn't have room here, but a couple other suited aces are fine as well. For example, ace seven suited, ace of spades, seven of spades. You get the idea. Both cards are suited. Guys, what this is going to do is give you a strong mathematical advantage. Now, I know this is fairly boring. This is not fun. Amateurs in particular love to play play all sorts of junky hands like an 8-5 offsuit or a 10 deuce and yes sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll hit three of a kind on the flop but guys the reason why amateurs get amateur level results is because they're not disciplined enough to fold these hands before the flop as somebody who takes the game seriously I'm going to assume that if you clicked on a video like this you know that you're better than that you have to challenge yourself to be more disciplined and simply stop playing the these trashy hands that is going to quickly improve your poker results. All right, guys, so poker tip number six that changed my life was to learn to always take control. Now, this one was a little bit more difficult for me. I'm not the most aggressive person. I'm kind of an introverted personality. I don't really like to rock the boat a lot, but you need to rock the boat a lot in poker if you want to win. Basically, guys, aggressive poker is winning poker. Some people are not gonna like it. They're gonna call you the table bully. They're gonna complain that you're always raising it up. But guys, this is how winning is done in this game. So basically, guys, I never let somebody see a cheap flop against me. If I've got a hand like King Queen, for example, King of Hearts, Queen of Spades, and somebody limps, and limping is when somebody just calls the blind before the flop. So if you're playing in a one dollar, two dollar game, somebody just calls the two dollar blind. I am going to be raising it up here literally 100% of the time. I'm gonna raise it four times the blind here. So so that would be $8. My typical amount is I raise it three times the blind plus one for every limper. And the ideal situation is you get just one caller. So if you find that you're getting five callers in this situation, try making it $10, try making it $12. You guys get the idea. But the bottom line guys is always take control of the pot before the flop. Put the table on notice that you are in charge. They're going to be a guest in your pot and you're going to have a lot more success. All right guys, poke Poker tip number five is to always fast play. Now guys, for some reason, slow playing has become really popular in today's games. I think perhaps people have been watching too many Phil Hellmuth YouTube videos where he slow plays his way to success or another bad beat in high stakes million dollar cash games. But I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that probably less than 1% of people watching this video also play in million dollar cash games. No, instead they're playing in the aforementioned mentioned $1, $2 game, which is full of beginners. And therefore, guys, instead of getting tricky and trying to slow play your top pair, you just want to be betting instead. Guys, do the literally most obvious thing at the poker table and let them overthink the situation. So for example, you've got ace jack, somebody limps, you already know we're going to be raising that up. So we assume they call, flop comes down with a jack four eight. Guys, just bet here. Don't get fancy. 
don't check it to them, do the most obvious thing possible and just make a bet. And again, let them overthink the situation and bet big, bet 80% of the pot. So the pot's $10, bet $8. Guys, bottom line, keep poker simple. Don't overcomplicate a very simple card game and you're gonna have a lot more success. All right, guys, tip number four is to bet big on the turn. So let's assume that they did call on the flop, same hand here, you got ace jack, you raised it up pre-flop. By the turn, the board raised a jack four, eight, deuce. The deuce of clubs came on the turn. Totally harmless card, does not complete any draws, anything at all. Guys, once again, just do the most obvious thing possible here and make another big bet. I can tell you I've literally made a career out of doing this in small stakes games. Everybody wants to complicate a very simple card game and I have made an unbelievable amount of money by just simply doing exactly what they expect me to do and again letting them overthink the situation i turn over the top pair and they're like oh he really did just have that yep i did i'll take those chips now all right guys moving on to poker tip number three and that is to fold versus the tight players so let's talk about a situation now where you actually get raised and what you should be doing well guys versus the tight players who are only sitting around waiting for their pocket aces and pocket kings waiting for a flush a set three of a kind these are the kind of players you want to be folding against so let me give you an example once again you raise it up pre-flop with ace king a tight player calls flop comes down with the ace five four totally standard situation we bet they call we already talked about this guys no slow playing always fast play do the most obvious thing so the turn comes down with a seven of spades you bet and they raise what's going on here guys well there should be alarm bells going off in your mind right now because why would a tight player raise you here on the turn out of nowhere for no reason at all guys let me tell you from my nearly 20 years in this game 10 plus years as a professional they are not doing this with ace queen ace jack ace 10 ace 9 no instead they are doing this with pocket fives pocket fours pocket sevens some sort of weird straight like a six eight or a hand that has two pair like an ace five a five seven or an ace seven what do all these hands have in common they have you absolutely smoked many of them have you drawn completely dead meaning that you have exactly zero percent equity there is no card on the turn that can make you win the hands and a lot of the rest of them have you at around 10 percent odds of winning guys when a tight player raises you on what i call the big money streets the turn or river they literally always have it trust me on this one just fold your hand i know it's painful but it's a lot more painful to call down here and lose a massive pot when they inevitably turn over the pocket fives all right guys poker tip number two that catapulted my poker career into the stratosphere and that is to learn a proven poker system guys you do not need to figure it out all on your own in poker there are many proven systems out there that'll show you exactly what hands to play how much to raise when to bet and so on and so forth and i've already written a free poker cheat sheet i'll link that up as the top link in the description below where i walk you through the exact strategy with charts and diagrams that show you every single hand to play and how to play against all the major poker player types and so on it's around 50 60 pages you could literally read it in an afternoon and it's totally free so guys you do not need to play the guessing game you don't need to spend years and years trying to figure it out like everybody else learn a proven poker system learn how to do things right the first time and you're going to have a lot more success in this game all right guys my number one tip that literally changed my life in poker that is to learn to quit early on what I call the hell days. Now, let me describe a hell day for you. As a 10 plus year professional, I have gone through countless days at the poker tables where I literally could not win a hand to save my life. Every time I hit top pair, I know they're gonna hit the flush by the river. Anytime I've got pocket kings, I know they've got pocket aces, so on and so forth. If you've played this game for any amount of time, I am sure you have been through this. You've seen it yourself. Guys, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that playing captain comeback on these days never ends well. There's several reasons why. Number one, you're playing in your worst state. A lot of the times when you're losing in poker, there's a stream of bad thoughts going through your head like, oh, they always get lucky against me. See, this is why I can never win. You're doubting your abilities. You're constantly second guessing yourself and so on. Guys, you're not playing your best. This is really the biggest reason of all to simply quit early on these days. And the second reason why is because you almost never actually win the money back. And once you realize that poker is 
a long-term game, you won't concern yourself with this anyways. It is not about booking a win. That's for amateurs. That is not how professionals think about the game. Guys, we play this game for our results over the course of months and years, not days and weeks. And when you learn to recognize when it's just going really poorly for you on a specific day, the best thing you can possibly do is just give up for the day. I have saved myself so much money being able to simply quit on these days when I know that most of my competition stays in there playing poorly and this is when I get to clean up versus them, but they never get to play against me when I'm playing my worst. Guys, poker is psychological warfare and when you can learn this one simple principle, this will do more for your poker results than anything else. All right, guys, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And once again, if you want to know my entire strategy to beat the small and mid stakes games, make sure you grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. I will link that up in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you next time.